hello friends welcome back in this video I will be talking about sonar lint in Eclipse IDE so in my last video I talked on how we can uh, like what's the important of code quality check and what are the different tools for code quality check okay so uh, main tool most commonly used tool is sonar cube okay so we will be using sonar cube so before we integrate sonar cube into or before we talk more on sonar cube uh, let us see what is this sonar lint and how we can work on it in Eclipse IDE okay so let us see how we can install sonar lint plugin in Eclipse IDE and how, uh, like how, how it detects the uh, how it does the code analysis let us let us see that okay so sonar lint is basically a plugin in Eclipse IDE which does a code static code analysis for us right so the main tool is sonar cube only right which we will be uh, integrating with our a in, in, in our continuous integration server right but when when we will invoke this uh, sonar cube in our continuous integration server after after you check in your code right but before you check in your code while developing your code itself if you get to know uh, analysis of your code right if you get to know analysis of your code that is best best for you so that you can work on it instantly right so that's the reason we we should have this sonar lint plugin installed in your eclipse ide okay so that we will get to know the instant result for your code that is the static code analysis for your code okay so let's see how we can install this uh, sonar lint okay so uh, to install this sonar lint in your eclipse id go to help go to eclipse marketplace and here search for sonar lint Just type here sonar lint I'll just search with sonar I should get something yes I got sonar lint okay so I'm just going to install it accept the license agreement click on finish and here you can see it is installing a software so let it install Okay, you can see my installation is completed and it is asking me to restart the Eclipse okay so let me do that let me restart my Eclipse now now once this sonar lint is installed in the console itself you will find all the code analysis okay so let it restart we'll see okay so now my sonar lint is installed and I will check we if it is installed just click on the uh, properties of any of the project so let me go to okay so here itself you can see sonar lint right if you right click on any project you will find sonar lint and you can see analyze changed file or analyze complete project or 
by into sonar cube or sonar cloud okay so we'll be talking on this sonar cube and sonar cloud in our coming sessions okay so if you go to properties here you will find something called as sonar lint okay and here you have the option to run sonar lint automatically okay so by default it is checked and better uh, to keep it as checked so that it will uh, run the sonar lint automatically as and when you type or do update in any classes or create new code okay so i'll keep it as it is and click on apply whatever because i didn't change anything fine now let me open something let me open one of my file okay so this console is not for sonar lint okay so we need to get this sonar lint console from here okay so if you click on this drop down arrow over here you will find some consoles different consoles maven consoles python console I, I installed this python plugin then sonar lint console okay so i'll just click on sonar lint console okay and you can see found zero issues okay no issues is found okay so that's how we can do sonar lint okay so if i am doing something let me show you uh, okay so it is showing found zero issues see I'm, I'm doing right click on the project okay or even what you can do is if, if you want to scan the class individually so you can right click on the class go to sonar lint and you have the option as analyze or even you you have the option to exclude okay like if, if you want to do uh, the analysis of complete project but not this class then you can mark it as exclude and perform for rest of the things right so that that that's the again option you have if I want to do for this class alone then we have the option right so in the report you can see as soon as I do the scanning it will give me the sonar lint report for for this specific I do not have any issues so you can see zero item uh, and in the console you can see zero issues found zero issues right so if you see any issues over here then you can fix that issue at the same time at that moment itself we can fix uh, in order to avoid the uh, f future uh, like to t in, in order to waste your uh, in order to avoid your time waste right uh, if you find out later it will take time to fix so that's the reason this sonar lint is better in your eclipse id itself right so this is this is from the l let us say when when you are developing the code but now you you will be integrating your code with uh, many other codes maybe right so and now nowadays most of the organization have the requirement uh, have the requirement to have this sonar cube or any kind of code scanner into their continuous integration pipeline okay so that's the thing we will be talking in our next video uh, next uh, couple of videos how we uh, what, like what is sonar cube which is an uh, web best uh, even uh, which is again you, you can install it on your web server or even you can install it on your local or even they have something called as sonar cloud.io which which can be used for performing static code analysis right and we will talk and and we will see how we can integrate that sonar cloud or your sonar cube with uh, jenkins so that uh, whenever you trigger the batch first it do it does your code analysis and then it execute your test cases if your code analysis is fine right so stay tuned thank you